Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of Rudiments 101. On this edition, or episode, we're going to uh, do the five-stroke roll. So, uh, that's a fun one. Five-stroke rolls are used all the time. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get to it and play the five-stroke roll, and then we can get to the other mess I normally do, okay? All right. Oh, for this one, I am using those uh, American Classic Metal Hickory things, sticks, because um, it produces a more articulate and crisper sound on this drum for this rudiment. So, that's just a little sidetracking info for you. All right, let's let's get this going. the lactic acid flowing and that's something we'll talking about in 301 of this five stroke series uh, I had a glitch on my left hand on the way up where I hit the drum somehow a little different I did come down I mean you know get slower faster quicker than I uh, got faster and that was probably because I took too long getting faster my arm started getting uh swollen and, and, and kind of tired and um, that was it but you know most importantly though it wasn't dirty that's that's the main thing with any rudiment cleanliness always every rudiment cleanliness <laughs> all right so how do you get your five stroke rolls to sound better well first we have a special guest and let me go get this special guest for you you might have seen him before, but more than likely, you've never seen him, you know, because he hangs out in some weird places. But it's my dromedary friend. Get ready, guys. It's Cletus the Camel. What's up, fools? Hey, come on. Check everything out. Be, be nice. Nice skins, man. I wish I could play, but I'm having motor skills problems. Peace. Oh, hey, thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate it. Gar <laughs> oh, that guy's never been too nice. All right. Hey, stop by. Now for the five stroke, what you need to do is you need to make sure that everything is even. Okay? And uh, basically, just like any other rudiment, you need to play it slow speeds. You, you're, it, it, it's never going to get as fast as you want it to until you master the basic motor skills and what it feels like to do this
as with the paradiddle, something you can do is this. You can practice that one handed, what one hand does. That is different than some of the other rudiments because a five stroke roll has a note in it that, that, that has a higher notational value, which is the accent at the end. All right? We won't go into what those notationals are and how they're written out and different pieces of music and things like that. That'll be for a different series. But for right now, just try that, what I've said. Do not overdo the accent, okay? Uh, sometimes uh, in, in, in the beginning you tend to, to overplay the accent. And there's, there's no need for it. It's a waste of energy, and, and sometimes, you know, if you do that a lot, it really can cause problems with your wrist or something, tendonitis or some stuff like that. So, now that that's done, and you got to meet uh, Cletus the Grouch, work on that, get your muscle memory going, and uh, have fun. Be sure you don't get too frustrated. Have patience. It's going to take a while, and as always, guys, it's just drums.